The Obama administration is once again upsetting one of its core constituencies, environmentalists. The EPA has given in, for now, on massive new regulatory effort opposed by industry groups, Republicans, and some Democrats. Correspondent Shannon Bream has the story. Just weeks after President Obama officially kicked off his re-election campaign, the administration has charted what appears to be a more business-friendly course, announcing plans to encourage domestic oil production and just this week, halting EPA regulations that would have impacted entities from coal burning plants to universities. Well, I think they realize that they that they really just had not done all their homework. GOP Congressman Fred Upton, who chairs the House Energy and Commerce Committee, believes it was pushback from Capitol Hill that forced the administration to re-examine the EPA regulations in light of current economic realities. We knew that it was going to impact more than 200,000 different facilities, billions of dollars of costs, uh, whether you're university or, or a business, those costs just are pretty tough to justify right now in an uh, economic climate like today. Of the delay, the EPA said, quote, we find that justice requires postponing the effectiveness of these rules. These are complex questions of science. They're complex questions of chemistry in the atmosphere. Uh, EPA has a tough job, and it's a good thing that we have congressional oversight that's uh, checking on them. So who gets the credit or the blame for putting the latest regulations on ice? GOP lawmakers who have railed against the EPA's broad powers or an administration moving to the middle in the midst of a re-election campaign? Environmental activists say while they initially rated the president's performance positively, they are worried about Mr. Obama's more recent moves. This is the danger of making decisions based on political expedience rather than principle. And frankly, it's also one of the big worries. If this kind of decision making is what drives their decisions in the future, it's going to be an unfortunate next couple of years and a lot of bad decisions will be made. The EPA says it looks forward to more public input on the now delayed regulations. Some have already been in the works for more than a decade.